Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to Sweetwater's Soundcheck. This time out, a new dynamic microphone from Shure. Let's get started. The KSM-8 is a new dynamic microphone just introduced by Shure at the 2016 Winter NAMM Show. It's a very interesting microphone that has some proprietary new features that give it performance that's very different from other dynamic microphones you might have used in the past. The KSM-8 is a handheld microphone that's designed mainly for vocal applications, although it'll be great on other sources as well. One of the big defining characteristics of it is the dual dyne capsule. Now, dual dyne means that it has two diaphragms inside, an active diaphragm and a passive diaphragm. This is very unusual in a dynamic microphone. It's fairly common in a condenser mic, but this is the world's first dynamic microphone to feature dual diaphragm design. Those dual diaphragms allow Shure to do some very interesting things. First of all, they can control proximity effect. Using those two diaphragms and the way the microphone is constructed with the different air pathways inside, they can combine all that together to shape the proximity effect and basically reduce it to where it's very minimal. In addition, they're able to maintain very consistent response as you go on and off access from the microphone, and they're able to design an incredibly tight cardioid pattern. The controlled proximity effect of the KSM-8 is a very important feature because it means several things. First of all, it allows you to have very clear vocals because you aren't getting that buildup of low frequencies and distortion as you get closer to the microphone. If you look at the frequency response graph for this microphone, you can see that it's very flat all the way to the top. It begins to drop off about 150 Hz as you'd expect with a vocal mic, but even that's very controlled down to 40 Hz. So let me show you what I mean. I'm going to talk into the microphone and get progressively closer to the diaphragm and hear that although there's a little bit of proximity effect, it's nowhere near what you'd expect with a normal dynamic microphone. Check, 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 check. Now there is some proximity effect there, but it's very controlled, nowhere near what you'd get with a regular dynamic microphone. This allows you to get farther away from the microphone and again, maintain that vocal clarity no matter whether you're close or whether you're more distant. Because of that, the microphone has a very wide sweet spot as well, and this is great if you're performing on stage. It means you don't have to be right on the microphone. You can actually be to the side, you can be off, and it'll maintain a much more consistent response. The broad and flat off-axis response also plays into this. As you move around the microphone, the frequency response remains much more consistent. Check, 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 check. You can hear the response remains much more consistent and it really drops off as you get around to the back of the microphone. You can also see from the polar pattern graph that the cardioid pattern is very consistent no matter what frequency. As you go up in frequency, it still remains a tight cardioid shaped pattern. Internally, the KSM-8 also features Shure's pumping pneumatic shock mount design as well as the dynamic stabilization system which work together to greatly reduce handling noise as well as stabilize the active diaphragm during plosives or if there's an impact on the microphone. The KSM-8 is available either in brushed nickel or black finish, and it comes with a zippered carrying case as well as a stand mount. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the KSM-8 dynamic microphone from Shure. With those dual diaphragms, it really is an innovative mic, applies new technologies and new features to solving some of the problems associated with live sound reinforcement. It's ideal for vocals, whether on stage or in the studio. Thanks for joining me for Sweetwater Soundcheck. I'm Mitch Gallagher.